Okay, good morning. At least it's good morning when I'm making this. It's Thursday. And um, Corlin is headed to school with Lawrence. Um, it's nice that he got to take her to school today. Sometimes I have to drop her off. And that is just crazy trying to get all the girls ready. Baby in the car and all that good stuff. And get her to school on time for to drop her off from the car, light, car rider line. Can't even talk. And um, actually, that's kind of what I want to talk about today is um, just um, stress and um, being a mom and I think the two kind of sometimes go hand in hand as a mom we have a lot of responsibility and expectation placed on us um, whether hey, you, thank you whether you are a um, working mom outside of the house or you are a working mom inside of the house you're a working mom no matter what whether you have a job or um, your job is just your children which is a full-time job in itself so um, whether you're a stay-at-home mom or um, a work outside the home mom, um, life can be stressful and crazy. We have all the responsibilities of, I mean, I don't know what in your house, but we share the responsibilities in our house of like laundry and chores and stuff like that. But hey, girls, this is a perfect example of why I'm going to talk about this. Um, but we have the responsibilities of the cooking and the cleaning and the laundry. Um, and it, uh, some, some moms homeschool or, you know, helping with homework. Um, whatever. Like right now, my two girls, the middle ones, the two and the four-year-old, are fighting and not getting along. And they tend to butt heads a lot. They have their sweet little precious moments where they'll play together nicely. And it's so sweetly. And I try to take pictures of those and post those on Facebook and capture those wonderful sweet memories. Um... <laughs> But of course, I'm not posting what's going on down here where there um, is crying and gnashing of teeth. And sometimes it is very wearing. And the other day, I told my husband to pray for me that I would have patience um, past 10 a.m. because of this. It's 8.30 right now, and I'm like, done. I don't even know what they're fighting about. They probably don't even know what they're fighting about. Um, and I have four girls, so we have a lot of emotions. And sometimes we just cry because. I don't know why. We just do. Um or over the littlest things and it's just like I want to pull my hair out and then the baby's crying and needs to eat and the two-year-old needs to go to the bathroom and the four-year-old is frustrated and they're pushing each other or they want the same toy or whatnot and life gets stressful um, and you just have all these responsibilities added on to you and then sometimes like yesterday um, I lost my cool and I was not the best mom that I wanted to be girls please stop no, I, I know I know I know you said stop please okay so um, and sometimes stop please doesn't get the message across and so um, I was not the mom that I wanted to be yesterday and I got a little frustrated and um, kind of embarrassed about that and um, Honestly, I think that it's because I sold my bottle of Confianza um, to a friend who was in in country before she left overseas, and I really wanted her to be able to get it and it, and be able to use it since she wouldn't be able to order it in the country where she was going. Um, so I'm I'm out of Confianza. This is just an empty bottle. But let me tell you, this is one of my best friends, just because of the anxiety and stress of um, of just regular everyday life and. Um, it has adaptogens in it that help you just naturally relax and it helps fight fatigue and improve focus and energy. And it's all natural. I love that. Um, I have friends who are really worried of, like with postpartum depression and they don't want to take the, um, the medication because of some of the side effects, the possible side effects. Um, my friend Melissa was... Um, healthy healthy woman vibrant loves jesus amazing woman but one of her friends um who was healthy and in shape um was a runner actually um died suddenly he was found in a porta potty um and he had died on his run and she all of a sudden just started out of nowhere having these panic attacks that the same thing was going to happen to her and she would freeze in the grocery store with her kids and and not be able to move she was starting to have nightmares and things like this and just anxiety hit and she was praying and reading her bible and um it, the anxiety wasn't going away and Jesus is awesome and I say pray to Jesus first he is our number one healer but sometimes our body needs a scientific thing and that's what this is it's made with herbs and adaptogens that help naturally reduce stress reduce anxiety um, fight fatigue improve your focus boost your energy a little bit 
Um, so I have people who are using the Confianza um, who um, were suffering from um, PTSD, um, like a soldier. I have a soldier on it. Um, I have a friend who has gone off all her prescription medication because of Confianza, and she has more joy and peace in her life right now. And the reason that I am talking about Confianza today is because I have seen a lot of moms recently um, posting on Facebook about the stress of life and just um, from little stresses like what I deal with to, you know, some bigger issues um, with postpartum depression. And it's not something to play around with. And it's a serious thing. And it's a real thing. And you know what? Like, I think after... Um, when I was doing um, in-home daycare and stuff, I think I was on the verge of maybe not postpartum depression, but depression because I was stuck at home all the time and um, I was felt trapped and I felt isolated and alone and I felt like I didn't have purpose outside of changing diapers. And I know those were all lies, but that's how I felt. And I was in a very dark place. And um, I think that, you know, we try to be big girl Christians and put on our big girl Christian panties and get over it when really we need help and we're scared to reach out. But I'm so proud of these moms who have posted on Facebook, um, be it on their page or in a message or in a, in a mom's page that they are struggling and they need help and they're asking for prayer and support. And that is awesome. Um, but sometimes we need even more than that. We need something scientific for our body to help our bodies. And that's why I'm so thankful that we have this. And um, if you are struggling, um, whether it be with postpartum depression or anxiety or just any form of depression or stress or PTSD or anything like that, you are not alone and you are not a bad person. You are not a weak person. Um, you are strong and you are capable and you are amazing. You're just going through some hard stuff in life and that's okay. Um, and it's okay to ask for help. It's good to ask for help. In fact, I feel so much better when somebody else is posting it. And I'm like, oh, I'm not the only one. I'm not alone. Good, I'm not crazy. Um, and, it, and we can form a, you know, a support system and help each other out and be there for each other. Um, and so I just wanted to share my little secret to kind of help me stay calm. And right now I'm going to stay calm because Kaya or Kella just got the milk out of the refrigerator and is going to pour herself a glass. So I'm going to quick run and do that so I don't have to cry over spilled milk. But I just wanted to share my heart about Confianza and um, how it's helped me and how maybe it can help you. And if you want more information about it, if you want an ingredient list or anything like that, um, if you want some more personal stories from people that I know personally who are using it, I would love to share those with you in a personal message so uh, let me know and we can be there to support each other and help each other out and enjoy life and kind of uh, kick stress and anxiety and depression to the curb because that's not what we're here on earth for we are here to have an abundant life and to enjoy that and to be the people that God has created us to be and Satan wants to take that away from us and he wants to rob us of that and you know what we're gonna punch him in the face and we're gonna use some confianza to do it so um let me know if I can help you out, and um, I hope you have a blessed day.